All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to recap um, the fourth upset of the night. Um, Cincinnati beat TCU, Kansas beat Baylor. Those were two upsets. Um, Penn State beat Wisconsin. Well, we got another upset here tonight to recap. I just got them streaming it on Twitch. Um, New Mex the New Mexico Lobos beat the Utah State Aggies, 99-86 reaction. And all the crowds chanting overrated, overrated the New Mexico crowds, the Utah State team. Coach told to pop it down, which I agree with the coach. I don't think Utah State's overrated. Come on, I mean, they lose one game here. They won 15 straight. You're not going to win every single basketball game you play. This was just a matter. This was just a matter of them, the New Mexico, New Mexico Lobos playing better. They didn't shoot well from three, but they, they were getting to the paint whatever they want. They were getting wherever they wanted the paint, driving to the rim. Nelly Joseph, Junior Joseph, was played great. They shot 57.4% from the field. Uh, Nelly Joseph, 26 points, 11 of 12 from the field. 4 of 4 from the free throw line. Also had 8 rebounds. It was just a matter of New Mexico being that good tonight. You got They got to rank the Lobos. And they had 55 points in the first half. That was the most points allowed by the Aggies in a half this season. I'm not going to say Utah State sit here and say they're overrated. Come, come on. It's just a tough loss. You just can't expect to win when you give up nearly 100 points. Like, their bigs destroyed uh, Utah State's and 16 of 18 from the field, and they got constantly bullied on. They constantly bullied your bigs on defense. Sako missed like three dunks in this game, and maybe you can get some get some revenge uh, when you play at them again at home. It's just they couldn't guard guard tonight. Utah State's defense just couldn't guard tonight. But New Mexico State at home is just nuts. Like they're really good playing at home. It might be the toughest place to play in the country. I think they'll bounce back. I think Utah State's too talented of a team. I know people will be like, ooh, overhyped frost. But they're still 16 and 2. They've won 15 straight. Just some games you're not going to be able to guard. And just, it was even one of these games. Play on the road. New Mexico State's a tough team to play at home. And they have one of the biggest home court advantages in college basketball. The Mountain West has several legit teams. And that place has gotten crazy. Dropped 99 points. They pick up a, a, pick up a second straight ranked win, but defeating Utah State. And they defend the pit once again. They, uh, New Mexico definitely is going to get ranked at some point. It's just life on the road in college basketball is tough. I mean, I, I ask Kansas, I ask Purdue, I ask Houston. Life on the road is tough in college basketball, especially in conference play. You're not going to win every basketball game. So that's a good win. And Aggies suffered their first loss since early November and gave their most points in the same game since 2008. And they're just looking like it. They look. New Mexico looks like absolute monster of a team in the pit. And Utah State just didn't bring their A game defensively. New Mexico played great. They had one, two, three, four, five, six players in double digits. Nelly Joseph. They had no answer for him at the rim. Twenty-six points, eight rebounds. Um, Donovan Dent. Fifteen points, fourteen assists. Fourteen assists for Donovan Dent. He was great. Probably one of the most underrated passers in college basketball. Uh, Jamal Mashburn Jr., 10 points, 4 assists. Um, Jalen House, 14 points. You love that type of player on the team. He plays with so much energy. JT Thompson, 12 points, 5 rebounds. Probably one of the most underrated freshmen in college basketball, in, or maybe in, in that conference. Uh, Mustafa Amzil, 12 points, 4 rebounds. Um, True Washington, 6 points, 3 rebounds. It's all around team effort. Every time Utah State tried to make a run that second half, make a little bit of a rally, they even cut to seven at one point, then Mexico would just bring that lead right back up, and they finally were able to pull away. As a team, they shot 57.4% from the field, 16-17 from the line, 94.1%. Uh, Utah State was able to get a lot of offensive rebounds, 19 offensive rebounds, get a lot of extra chances, but 14 turnovers, 4-17 of from three isn't going to win you games. I know... New Mexico went 5 of 19, but when you're making 16 and 17 from the line, taking care of the basketball, getting a lot of shots in the paint, bullying Utah State in the paint, who needs the threes when you're bullying them in the paint and Utah State isn't making theirs? Uh, but the difference was free, some free throws as well. Utah State missed a lot of free throws. Also, Boer, where he lives at the line, missed a lot. A um, few dunks, he tried, he tried to go for dunks, they just laid it in. He got hurt at the end. 
Utah State. Also bore 15 points, 2 assists, 8 rebounds. Probably the worst game of his season. Martinez, 22 points, 3 rebounds. Had at one point 14 straight. He finally showed up the second half. Foslev, 19 points, 9 rebounds. He does all the little things. Attack the rim, rebound. He's probably uh, one of the most underrated players in that conference as well. Um, Darius Brown, 11 points, 5 assists, 4 rebounds. Uh, played better in the second half. Uh, Udoje, 13 points. 13 points, 3 assists, 4 rebounds. Uh, Sako, so 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 4 four points, 4 rebounds. Missed by a few dunks. Their, the difference was just their bigs got bullied. They had 5 players in double digits. Just, the difference was their bigs got bullied tonight. When New Mexico's playing like this with Dent getting 14 assists, like Nelly Joseph, Jim, Nelly Jr. Joseph getting 26 and 8. JT Toppin played great. New Mexico just had such a good home court advantage. And they got a really underrated team. And that offense played great. Utah State trying to battle back, but New Mexico just brought the lead back up. And Donovan, Donovan Dent, just the growth of him has been great. And they got the Lobos are going to be ranked, and you got to have that defensive energy all the way through the season. But yeah, it's really out to say for this game. Um, so um, yeah, until next time, I'm out with a lot. Peace.